Hey, this is Salt with MyWorks, and in this video, we're going to talk about how you can display your inventory locations on your product page when using our WooCommerce multi-location inventory and order routing solution. Now, one of the options, and again, it is optional, you don't have to do this, but you can actually allow your customer to see the locations available and choose the location that they'd like to order from based on these. So if we take this example, this is our demo site, it is very basic, but you see that we have a t-shirt available. Now, once we choose a size, we're going to be able to see the locations that have this product in stock, as well as how many products we have in stock. If I chose the small option, then I'd see that both the Canada and the US have it in stock. So I, as a visitor or customer, could pick the location that I want to order from. Again, it's not necessary for you to show the inventory quantities either, um, but you could show only the locations if you wanted to. This is great for businesses that have local pickup options or where there are multiple different locations within a close geographic area and where your customers might prefer to actually be able to pick the location that they want to order from. But of course, we do have automatic order routing options if you'd prefer to route your orders based on your own priorities and just do it automatically in the back end without your customers having to make any changes or adjustments. Now, while we're looking at this, I also would like to show you the product back end so that you can see where we can actually manage the inventory locations and the inventory quantities. So if we go back, uh, this product is a variable product, so we're going to see the, the different options inside of the variations tab. So we will go to the variations. And you'll see here in the back end that we have our usual total stock quantity field. We gray it out and we give you an additional field for each one of your warehouses. So we have the United States and Canada here, for example. 20 plus 25 gives us 45 in stock, of course. And another option we could do is we could actually set a default location for each one of these products or variations even. So when there's a default location, we will automatically route the order to the default location unless that location is out of stock, then it would move on to the next location. And that's just for our one variation. Then in our variation where it's a, a medium sized t-shirt, you can see that there are two in the US and zero in Canada. And that's why on the front end, we were only seeing the US as an option to order from. So that's one of our exciting features. We have many more, so feel free to browse more of our videos and pages and schedule a demo call with us if you'd like to learn more about the product and we'd be more than happy to go through your specific use case for this and talk to you about how this solution can help you. All right, goodbye.